good morning lovely folk um i'm just going to put some of the derma individuals i always say derma individuals derma vituals om um, um, rosacea gel on first you only need a teeny tiny probably even less than that amount oh this is a gel solution i use this every morning and i press it into my face right i'm nearly out of this this is glossier super pure niacinamide and zinc which i love um they've reformulated it i think i told you so it's double the size now 30 mil you can buy now this is 15 but it's the same price um and it's five percent niacinamide um but i noticed that the ordinary their niacinamide is 10 percent but i do like the combination of niacinamide and zinc so i would buy this again but i'm thinking i might try the ordinary and i apologize well no i don't apologize i know a lot of people hate it when people drop product onto their skin but i quite like it <laughs> so there <laughs> so there oh i'm in one of those moods today right it confidence in a cream rosy tone i'm still using this it's okay but i wouldn't um repurchase it i was actually considering repurchasing the glossio um rich cream they do the tube or the pot and i was thought if i got another serum i would probably get that moisturizer because i really love it I have a foundation now you've seen the small tester size but I was so impressed with it and I've been using the tester on its own and in conjunction with other foundations and it I just love it um it's the W7 um foundation I featured the sample which was what was the color natural beige and I got a large size it's about eight pounds the bottle is almost identical to Estee Lauder's double wear the original double wear um, but this is the legend foundation lasting wear foundation um lightweight and lasts all day shake well before use um no spf in there but i really really like it and when you get a good tester and a good color makes sense and it's a good price as well so i'm going to use that today I'm also really getting to love um, W7's Princess Potion, Complexion Booster and Primer. It smells like a bag of sweets. Mm. And it's just beautiful, beautiful on the skin. I like to let my moisturiser have a few minutes to itself. Then I put the potion on and then I go in with my makeup. But I have a gap between putting makeup over the potion because it's not sticky. But it has a sort of tackiness, so it is sticky, a sort of tackiness for a few minutes. So I like to just let that settle as well. So, you know, a steady away kind of makeup. That's what we're doing. So while I'm waiting for my moisturiser, I'm just going to choose a few bits of makeup and then I'll come back to you and we'll have a chat. Put some of the potion on. I love the word potion. about four three three drops oh that's so lovely and i just press that for me the um princess potion it works better if you press it into the skin rather than rubbing it rubbing it just sort of moves it around this really sort of puts it in place and it just the skin just feels more even Certainly when I'm putting foundation on, you can tell it's sort of bonding beautifully with this. Other foundations work really well, but they really are a partner. Um, they really are a partnership, these two together, absolute partnership. Um, two great products from W7. And they still have a sale on. I'll put the links to the products so you can go and have a look. Some of the eye palettes are a really great price as well. 
So this is just your standard open top bottle like the good old fashioned days. It is quite a pinky foundation but they do have other shades of course and I have um, the blush and bronze brush, all the bees, blush and bronze brush by Nanshai that I use as a foundation brush because that's how I roll and I love the smell of this foundation as well. It just covers so beautifully with such little product. It's almost like a moisturiser, a tinted moisturiser in the sense that there's no obvious signs of the foundation, there's no brush marks, yet my skin is just evened out. It really is an incredibly beautiful product. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to put a little bit of bronzer on. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow palette. So I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer and then some of the highlighter. Thank you for your comments, you lovely folk. Um, a nice response to my little chat video about how I was feeling about blogging and just general stuff and a lot of you who do blog and are interested in beauty feel the same way so thank you for sharing your thoughts and um, those of you that support me and are so understanding um, thank you I had some really really lovely comments um, and some people I sort of talk to on other medias as well um, but Sharon, the lovely Sharon Bell, thank you for your comment which as you know brought tears to my eyes um, the lovely Lily Rose, thank you for your um, really nice comment I mean all of you, bless you, you're so supportive, I do appreciate it so so much And that's why I do this, you know, that's why I do, I, ironically, it's not because I don't care, but just to put it out there to make the point that YouTube is my least successful social media site. Um, it just is, you know, if you have to look at your number of followers, it's not an amazing amount, but it's never been about that. I started filming without anybody and a lot of you have been with me from the start and that's what's important to me is that the connection the people when a name pops up and you think oh it's so and so and how's you and da da da, da. and you have a bit of history together so i think i'm embracing how i feel about the fact that even though it's the least successful it actually is the most pleasurable and makes me the happiest when i'm doing this um, because it's about the right things and that's about being creative which I love putting a lot of highlighter on my face <laughs> which I really love and having the friendships um, and the conversations and just knowing people so yeah um, I do I just I really enjoy doing YouTube and I know a lot of people don't understand when they say but you haven't got that many followers and don't you feel you're wasting your time no because it there's so much pleasure from it I gain so much from it um, and I think we could learn a lot by looking deeply and looking beneath the surface and stopping this obsession with numbers and thinking about what it, what we what we really want and what it really means and this is a prime example for me I have Glossier Fawn and the Lid Stars. I know these get quite a lot of, well, hate is a strong word because it's only makeup, but it's they're not popular and I quite like them, truthfully. I, I do. I don't mind the Lid Stars. They're just enough if you just want a straightforward, simple 
makeup um, and they're creamy and they sit nicely and you know they're just soft and gentle the pigment isn't that strong but you know you can see what it is <laughs> just realized that my hair is just tied up in an absolute bundle on top of my head sorry how real is that just starting filming and not even thinking about yeah what your hair looks like bad blogger um rock and co um this is the eye pencil by charlotte tilbury i have barbarella brown this is my second of these because i love the color and i love the pencil and i'm just going to do a little quite a thick line but i'm just doing it on the outer corner so just the outer bit I can't find the words this morning, I'm sorry. Shall I put anything under the eye? No, I'm not going to today. I have some of the Charlotte Tilbury um, collaboration with Norman Parkinson, Colour of Youth, which is lip and cheek. I've had it a long time, but it smells absolutely fine. I'm just going to put it on the cheeks. It's a beautiful colour. It's a lovely consistency. And it just gives a really natural flush. I didn't put any <laughs> concealer on because... I just, that foundation has just really lifted the eye area underneath. I don't actually feel I need any. Let's not put any on. Let's be devils and hmm. we'll put brow gel on instead. Rimmel, brow this way. Um, Paradise Primer Ecstatic. This is also a mascara. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it. It goes on white but it does actually dry down to um, a non-visible colour. I'll leave it on the top lashes so you can see how white it is. And we'll just leave the eye there. I like to put colour over the top, but I have bought another one because I mentioned that the growth of my lashes and the condition of them has been incredible since I've started using this again. And I haven't had the transfer from the mascaras. So we'll do this eye. We'll do them both. And I'll just leave them white. And it does. Although I do put a lot on, so it takes a bit of time. But it does dry down. So it is technically a primer and a mascara. That's how they sell it. But I would always put a mascara colour over the top. There, it's starting to change now. I can't believe I didn't need to put concealer on. And everything's just so lovely and glowy. Mmm, happy. Right, I have Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. I don't, I think they discontinued this line. My apologies, but I have a lot left. So, um, this is the colour 2C. Such a nice colour. All the nice colours get discontinued. So, I don't know if you can see, but that's really drying down now. Um... So it actually feels quite a natural finish. Doesn't give you the intensity of a full on mascara, but it does dry off and it holds the curl as well. But I will be putting mascara over the top. Let's put a bit of lip product on. I have the Soleil Toujours. This is their volume lip mask. Um, it's got an SPF of 15. Um, and I have the face ingredients as well. Um, face ingredients the face SPF for this brand they're coral reef friendly because they don't have certain um, chemicals in their products that affect coral I'm just putting that in the center of my licks licks 
got the gear. I'm going to put some of the Turtle Temptation Decadent Black Mascara by Maybelline. This is my, I had PR of this previously, but I bought this. And this again has conditioning ingredients within. I was replying to a message from the lovely Leona and saying about whore lashes because I like whore's lashes and I said whenever I say it I think of you and then he sort of sounded a little bit how rude but I know Leona's like me you know she likes her lashes so whenever I say it I just think of you know I know Leona likes whore lashes that's what I mean and it's often the case I say things and I think about the people I know here and comments and conversations that we've had. Um, the lovely Dominique, who's an absolute vault of knowledge when it comes to animal cruelty and brands that test on animals. She's just wonderful. Um, and unfortunately, she was, she's going to be staring at me because I'm using Maybelline and Maybelline I believe are still testing on animals let's hope that changes there's absolutely no reason no reason at all I do have a theory about that I do have an alternative but <laughs> I'm not sure everybody would agree with me um anyway I'll share it with you tell me what you think feel free to tell me you're appalled um but I just feel that it's the most sensible answer. If we need to test products, medication especially, we probably do need to test it on humans. And in my book, and I'm talking criminals who have murdered an old lady to get her pension, or they've, you know, they've murdered somebody, they've killed somebody, they've kidnapped some young man or woman off the street and done horrendous things and murdered them. And I personally think that when you do that, you should... You don't deserve your human rights. And, this, and people who hurt animals, I'd be quite happy to inject whatever into them. Um, but I personally feel that criminals who have done something so horrendous would be ideal candidates for testing of cosmetics and pharmaceuticals. Now, I know a lot of people, human rights, human life, all that but if somebody feels that they have the right to take a human life purely for their own gain then I think you should lose that and you know pass them over to a laboratory do let me know if that's a bit too much a bit dark for you but that's truly my solution um, people have, I have said that before, and people have looked at me horrified and said, but they're human beings, they have human rights. Not in my book. But there, there you go. Just how I feel. Just one opinion. Um, I'm going to use some Hourglass Mood Light Ambient Powder. It's slightly pinky, and I haven't used it for a long time. because I haven't used any concealer just a little bit more under the eyes perfect that's all folks I'll take my hair down I can't guarantee what state it's going to be in but you know I use a different dye now I absolutely love my Josh Wood hair dyes I really do but I struggle to find a ready colour and I really wanted a sort of, say, mahogany, auburn, just a little bit more red in my hair for the summer. Um, I used to sort of use mahogany red years ago, which was fine, but now I've got so much grey, if I use a proper sort of red dye, my hair goes orange. <laughs> Attractive. So I'm using, using Schwarzkopf, Schwarzkopf, Kopf, Kopf. Um, I used to love, they used to do a fabulous shampoo years ago. Anyway, and I really love it. And it seems to really lang langer. Really linger. Um, it doesn't fade. 
So what I do is I use Schwartz cough and I add one of the Shade Shot Pluses, the brunette one by Josh Wood into it and it's fabulous. But Schwartz cough smells. I don't know if it does have, um, what's the word, ammonia in it. I need to read the label. It's quite strong scented. I would recommend that you have your windows wide open when you use it. Although the second time I used it, I didn't feel it was as bad as the first. However, um, just a little, that's just how I found it. But I absolutely love it. And the condition of my hair is great. And they have a sachet in it that you use about three weeks after you've dyed your hair. And it just brings it back to life. And it has been about three weeks. Normally, I am seeing a lot of regrowth, fading. The colour's not fab. But um this has really lasted there are gray bits there because i don't always catch them when i'm dyeing my hair and i quite like that sort of little salt and pepper look to the hair but just wanted to update you i will still buy josh wood because i love the condition it leaves my hair but i'm just struggling with the shades and even the lightest brown is very dark but i don't get the redness through it and that's what i wanted there right that's it leave it with you leave with you my feelings about testing products on prisoners criminals i'd be really interested to know if you're shocked by that or if you feel that it's a a fair comment um i value your opinion as you know right i'm off now ta -ra. see you in another video